Hello everyone, welcome back to Dreamlight Valley. Hope you all are having a good day today. We have mail because there was an update to the game yesterday. So let's see what we have in here. We have a message from Ariel. Discovered, found these while diving off the shore of Dazzle Beach. Already have some in my collection, so we get some materials here. Something delicious from Belle. I wanted to share a special recipe with you. The gray stuff. So the kitchen specialties of the Beast Castle, and I just know you'll find it delicious and enchanting as I do. Gathered all the ingredients so you could make your own. Of course, you can use them for whatever you like. And we have that. I'm pretty sure I already have the recipe for the gray stuff, but I won't turn down free food. Day at Disney Star Path has started. Greeting Valley Villagers. A Day at Disney Star Path event runs from May 1st to June 12th. Rewards include new motifs, clothing, furniture, animal companions, and a special new look for your villagers. Get ready for plenty of tricks and treats in the valley. All right. So yes, so we have a new Star Path. We have a new limited time event that is going on and lots of new things we can do. Um, and a new character, or multiple new characters? Multiple new characters to welcome. Um, one here in the valley, and then yeah, one right. as part of the of Rift of Time expansion. So, let's go ahead and let's talk about the Star Path. So this is the Day at Disney Star Path. Time to bring the magic of visiting Disney parks to your valley with a Day at Disney. Mine for precious gems to make your valley sparkle, get social with villagers, create delicious treats, and go fishing. Some very magical rewards are waiting. You'll be able to put a new spin on your village with iconic attractions such as alien swirling saucers, the magic carpets of Aladdin, and more. Plus, unlock fashions inspired by iconic Disney characters, new looks for Daisy Duck and Minnie Mouse inspired by the storybook circus at Magic Kingdom. Excitement of making your very own Dreamlight Valley Park awaits. Step on to ooh, a day at Disney Star Path before time runs out. So that is um, Star Path. And so basically how the Star Path works is you have different things that you have to do and then you earn um, tokens um, that will get to um, rewards. And so I'm going to go ahead and do the... Um, well, actually, so you, you always have the option to do it for free. You can unlock the premium path by purchasing moonstones, and I'll show you why um, that's important. So if we go over and look at rewards, basically for all of these tokens that we collect, there are different things that we can get um, from completing the star path. Um, there are six different um, levels that you work through, um, and you can't get to the next level until you open a certain number of things from the first one. A lot of the rewards that you get are locked behind the premium. And so, you know, if we kind of scroll through, you see that basically some of the best rewards are only going to be available in the premium. So, like, all of these rides that we're getting um, are only available on the premium path. Now, I don't always do um, the premium path. I didn't do it for the last one because it wasn't worth it. But this time, I think we're going to go ahead and unlock this, and we will activate the Star Path. I'm not going to spend extra to get the tokens, um, because we can get those by um, filling out all the duties. If you come over here, also, it opens up six that you can do at one time. Um, and, um, yeah, just means, means you can be doing more at... Um, at a time. And if you go through and complete all these challenges, when you finish one of these, a new one will go, and it goes through um, a certain amount um, that you can get. Um, and somebody went through and basically figured out, like, if you do all of the tasks that you need to, um, once you get through all of the items, you can turn in your tokens for more moonstones. And Somebody figured that, and I don't. This was a while back ago, but basically, you get about ninety percent of what you spend back um, on these challenges, so it usually can be worth doing. And so we're gonna do that for this. Um, yeah, so that is that. Now I do want to look over at the premium shop because um, every week there are new um, things that you can purchase with moonstones. Um, so these are different houses. Um, Disney Parks entry. What is this? So this is a, a decoration. That's kind of cool. 
Uh, how do I go back to the... Um, I don't know how to get... There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So we have the Hey Hey bundle. We get Hey Hey, Hey Hey house. Hey Hey's house. That is not easy to say. Um, Ariel's pink gown. Um, Demo the Flying Elephant, Elsa's, um, Frozen 1 outfit, which we have, um, and then some furniture stuff. So, yeah, okay. Um, and then other things that I'm not interested in doing right now. I'm not sure how badly I want, I'm not sure if I want Hey Hey 3000 Moonstones badly. So, I'm gonna have to think about that, and we will come back to it. So... If we hop back into the valley, let's check our quests. And so there is, so we need to, um, there should be a quest that will allow us to find Daisy um, and welcome her to the valley, but I am not entirely sure how to get that started. Um... <laughs> I think my date with Mickey later. talking to Goofy is part of our, yeah, part of one of our other friendship quests. So, often there's something that you have to find in the valley to start a quest. And I wonder if we find Donald Duck. Um, if maybe he will lead us in the right direction for welcoming Daisy. And where is Donald? Is he in his house? He is not. He's in the restaurant. All right, let's fast travel back up there. I would think that Daisy would be connected to Donald. So let's pop into the restaurant real quick. And see if maybe talking to Donald will tell us something. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like it. All right, we'll come back on this. So I know there's a new building that we can get. Um... And it's part of Daisy's um, quest progression. But I'm guessing that's probably not something... Okay, that's for the Dream Snaps competition, challenge, whatever. Um, and I'm guessing... Yeah. Um, let's pop into Scrooge's shop. As I said, I'm going into this kind of blind. I don't know very much um, about the update. I've read a little bit of what's involved, but not how to necessarily get at anything. Um, I do notice there is some new uh, clothing options that we have over here. But, yeah, let's see. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff for sale, but I can't imagine there would be a building. Oh, what is... All right, so there's a portrait of Daisy Duck. That's new. All right, well... I saw somebody made a comment about being able to access Scrooge's vault. Hmm, clearly not. And I'm guessing this door doesn't go anywhere. No. Okay. Well, tell you what. Let me let me wander around the valley a little bit, and I can't get out. Um, see if I can find anything, and I'll bring you back when we can do something. So, after a lot of research, um, I found that you have to have the multiplayer option set up, which involves a quest in the game to be able to get Daisy. So even if you don't want to do multiplayer, you have to in order to be able to unlock her character. You don't actually have to do anything with multiplayer. You just have to have it enabled. So in order to do that, we have to open a Valley Visit Station. And to do that, we have to talk to Vanellope. 
So let's see if we can find her on the map. There she is. If I click on her, I will get a magical path. That will lead me where? Over here. Aha, there we go. Hey, you want to race? Let's go valley visits. Hey, Mercy, you're not going to believe what I just found. I was spelunking in the deepest, darkest, most dangerous dungeon in the whole village. Woo! Screwed McDuck's storeroom. You were messing around in McDuck's storeroom? Does he know about Woo! this? Of course. I told him I wanted to do some organizing. Woo! Only now it's even less organized than it was when I went in. What can I say? I got distracted by the greatest discovery in the history of discoveries. Yee! This. What is this? Uh huh. No idea, but it's connected to the network that was that I was stuck on. There's a label on the side that says Valley Visit Station. Maybe if you put it somewhere and turn it on, it'll let you visit all those other valleys I saw. S sounds dangerous, quite possibly. But I'm sure whatever happens, you'll just respawn at the starting line. Um, I don't think that's how things work? Come on. For once in your life, embrace the excitement of pressing a giant button even though you have no clue what it does. Place that thing you do somewhere in the valley and try turning it on. Hey there, pal! Alrighty. So, where shall we place this? Um, valley's getting a little crowded. Maybe down in the glade. I think I've got some room over there. This will work. All right. There we go. Valley Visit Multiplayer Guide. You can invite up to three friends to visit your valley. Join a friend's valley. Visiting lets you collect pixel shards to craft special items, drop items to trade, and shop at screw to shop. Okay. That's fine. There we go. Now we have the quest from Mickey Mouse, which apparently I did not track. And that is what we are looking for. So I'm guessing Mickey is usually up in the plaza. Here we go. Oh, hey. Can you talk, pal? oh boy, Mercy, do I have news for you. I opened up my mailbox this morning and found a sparkly purple envelope addressed to both Minnie and me. Sparkly? Purple? Who was the letter from? Mm -hmm. Our pal Daisy Duck. I knew the second I saw the envelope. She left the village to investigate the forgetting. Daisy said getting to the bottom of it was more important than anything. And that she'd be back. Whoop, I clicked through that too fast. So what did the letter say? Is she in danger? No, nothing like that. Her letter said she found out something about the forgetting during her adventures, and now she's ready to come back to the valley. <laughs> she wrote ahead to ask if we could make sure her house is in great shape. Gosh, I can't blame her. She's been gone on a long camping trip. I'll set up her house right away. Hot dog. Thanks, Mercy. Let me know if you need any help. Okay, so let's go place Daisy's house. And let's see if there is room here in the meadow. There is if I move some stuff. I'm not sure that's where I want it. So let's do this. Let's move all of these berry bushes temporarily. There we go. And now, hopefully, this will fit right in here. Perfect. And then we'll just talk to Scrooge McDuck. I'll stylish this it or it'll be a grand addition to the valley once it's built. All right, let's do it.
And Daisy is now here in the valley. How fabulous, Dreamlight Valley. It's so good to be home. And Mercy, it's you. You came back too. My, 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 I have, have I missed you and this place. I just had to get to the root of the forgetting, find a solution to help our village. That's why I left. Goodness, I've been away so long. Did you discover anything? I did. The forgetting has strong ties to the old ruler, which is you, am I right? How did you know? You just got back. <laughs> I'm professional. Now, after all my adventuring and investigating, I'm ready to settle back into the valley life and help make this place sparkle again. Aww. And in that spirit, let's go inside my house. I have something marvelous to show you. Bye bye. Sounds good. I'd say lead the way, but maybe you don't know where it is. So I'll lead the way. It's down here. Hi, Goofy. Just who I wanted to see. Fabulous, you're here. Mm -hmm. A couple of things I should remind you of. Before the forgetting, you had a place where you shared your amazing creativity and personal oh, style. Yeah! It was called The Boutique, a shop filled with stylish custom creations for everyone. That sounds amazing. Oh. It really was. I loved it, and I was determined to protect it. Oh. So when the forgetting started, I went to see the fairy godmother for help. She shrunk the boutique to make it pocket size and hid it here in my house. Woo! And today's the day I finally get to give the boutique back to you. Don't we need to make it big again? I can't just eat a cookie and make myself small. <laughs> of course you can't, silly. But you can make the boutique bigger with a Wonderland amplification elixir. What do we need? Recipe mentions dream shards, carrots, topaz, and white daisies. Once you've crafted the Wonderland Amplification Elixir, you can apply it to your royal watering can. Then you just have to water the boutique. Sounds simple enough. Oh. When it's done, just take it and place it in the valley. Alright. So... We just need white daisies? And I have no idea where we're going to find them. I've been working on gathering the flowers um, into one area, and that was, in fact, a white daisy. Yay! So that makes that easy. Um, I saw a suggestion to, um, nope, that's not the flower I need. So you can move the flowers that spawn naturally into, um, a different location, um, and then when you need to gather them, you can just go pick them up. Now, they will respawn in this section of the valley, and I will have to move them back over. But makes it much easier when you want to go looking for things. So, let's go ahead and craft up this potion. There we go. And then if we go into our inventory, I should be able to just click on that. There we go. And I, I feel as though we should maybe not water this inside. <laughs> you say so. And we got a memory. All right, pick that up. And we'll pick that up. So now we need to find a place in the valley to put the boutique. Um, I feel like it would probably fit in well up here. Um, but I don't know that we currently have space for it. Oh, uh, it might fit over here. Let's... Oh, it'll fit over here. Let me spin the camera around. I think I'd like to move whatever this is. Birdhouse. Yeah, we'll move that. Sure, that's fine. We'll move these flowers over here. 
And then... We can place the boutique. Right there. And now I guess we'll go inside. <laughs> it's much bigger on the inside. Talk to Daisy. Where is Daisy? There's Daisy. Oh, it's you! Oh, it's even more gorgeous than I remembered. And soon it'll be even brighter with your creations. Yeah. Welcome to the boutique, Marcy. This is where you can display and share the clothes and furniture you design with travelers from other valleys. Is this something I have to do? No, not at all. But it's a great way to flex your creativity. Hmm. Let's say I wanted to display something I've created. Where do I start? Oh, it's a snap. Just place one of your creations on a mannequin or furniture pedestal for everyone to see. After that, come back and talk to me. We'll discuss the next steps. I hope Donald isn't giving you too much right. trouble. So interact with the boutique display to place clothing or furniture on it. Select the items you want to use. You need to use Touch of Magic Designs. Invite visitors to your valley to borrow items from your boutique displays. All right. So I would need to create something um, that we can then display. So um, I think let's leave off for that because it's been a little while getting this done. Um, so let's we will pick that up in the next episode. I think that um, to finish things off for today, I want to do a little bit of work on the star path, and let's see if maybe we can unlock some rewards. Um, yeah, so I, I think it would be kind of fun to have this popcorn squirrel as a companion, so I'm going to need 50 tokens for that, so... I'm going to do a little bit of work clearing some of these um, tasks off, and then we will finish up from there. All right, so I have completed several tasks. We've got 50 of our tokens, so let's go ahead and get our peppy popcorn squirrel companion. And then... If we come in here, where is our... Um... Have they moved where companions were, or can I just not read? Um, companions used to be a part of wardrobe. Are they an accessory? <laughs> No? What am I missing here? Okay, um... Is it because I'm inside? That seems odd. It's because I'm inside. Okay. <laughs> and there we go. There is our popcorn squirrel. Always ready with a snack whenever we are ready to go. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.